Well, it's a great pleasure to welcome to What's Next, Canvas Intelligence. And uh, we are joined by Archie Marinkovitz and Peter van Sayl uh, from, from, you know, I'm trying to work out Canvas Intelligence. It's an interesting company. I've been doing a lot of reading about you guys. Um, and what a fantastic name for a, for a company, because I guess when you when I think of the name Canvas, I think of, a, of an empty canvas that you can create what you want uh, as an artist. So... How, how did the how did Canvas Intelligence start, guys? Why did it start, and and what were you trying to address in the market? Yeah, Aki. Okay, so Canvas started when the two founding directors identified a need for better visibility of business data. They realized that they were not alone in this need. Yeah. Okay. During our during our we we were quite involved in management consulting, and during our tenure. We were tasked with implementing various ERP platforms in large organizations and we realized that there's no focus from ERP software companies to provide the necessary data integrations or platforms to support decision making from that data for the future. Yeah, and you know, this is what I love. I love visualization, which is what I love what you guys do. And, and, and you know, it just makes the data look uh, more, you, you can make more sense of the data and we're living in a data driven world so I get the the background that you guys are coming from and that was ultimately what uh, the, the the problem that canvas is solving right I mean just making it more palatable to understand the data I guess absolutely Aki so I mean we, we solve the problem of having your data tell a story so like you mentioned companies are sitting on vast amount of data and we give them the ability to, to, to visualize that data and tell a story. Yeah, companies increasingly realize they need to use their data more and digitally transform, but don't always know exactly how to prioritize the milestones. We assist in defining their roadmaps in becoming a dig digitally transformed enterprise and execute on that plan. And as an extra, we give our clients sight into the art of the possible. Okay, I get I get it. I mean, uh, it's it's quite exciting. Um, uh, and I guess, are you saying that Excel and balance sheets are boring? Don't answer the question, right? Uh, but, <laughs> but 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 it's true. I mean, look, you can visualize some stuff on some of the different platforms. But how how is it different to current BI solutions, for example, within the market? Because there are lots of products in the market right now. So, I mean, we, we solve real world problems. Um, you know, we don't just build dashboards. Everything that we do is from a transactional level up. Yes, we focus on deploying enterprise architecture with a maximum granularity at a, at a lowest possible cost to ensure our clients have platforms that will be able to support the full maturity of data operations into the future. Up to automated decision you know, platforms or industry 4.0 if you want to call it that. Yeah, we make sure our solutions allow for wide organizational usage from boardroom to factory floor. You know, we, we try and provide strategic, operational and tactical solutions on the same data. Okay. Now, I'd like to hear more about the Canvas team and, um, you know, what, what makes up the Canvas team because, you know, it's one thing to take data and to visualize the data, right, and, and, and to try and make it look good, but it's also going to make sense. So, you're going to know, you, you're going to have people, I guess, that, that understand the data. So, if it's financials, you know, a chartered accountant, for example, uh, would need to work in, in, in close proximity with a developer for example so do you have all those kind of people inside your team yes I mean these solutions are quite consultant driven most of our, our, our consultants are management consultants if you want to call it that our superstars all come from a management background some of them held positions as CXOs you know and managers in listed companies so they're not only highly skilled in business problem solving, but they also have the specialist coding and data science expertise. We found that a background in exact sciences have great value in co complex business modeling. For example, CFOs are used to be the custodian of business performance analysis and has the trust to vet accuracy within boardrooms. Okay, and and th people like, uh, for example, like uh, an actuary, would, would an actuary fit into your scenario as well? 
Absolutely. The more the more complex capability um, consultants have, we we are able to to leverage on that and capitalize for our clients. Now, t- tell me about some of your recent success stories. I mean, what what kind of uh, companies have you been working for uh, with, and what kind of success stories have you had lately? No, the, the most recent. Um, you know, we recently assisted one of SA's largest corporates with more than 800 executives in moving from Excel-based business performance analysis to, to the Power BI platform. And in that, you know, we had to integrate a massive business application estate to a central data lake. And we were able to deploy the platform under 12 months. You know, on ERPs alone, there were more than 100 reporting entities utilizing almost every known legacy ERP out there. And today, you know, just as one example, the head office finance now instantly drill from historically isolated aggregated data <coughs> to underlying ERP transactional data using Power BI alone. And, you know, in addition to that, all managers down the line use the same data lake for their specific management requirements with centrally controlled access levels. Okay. You know, I guess, I guess when I think about it, you know, um, you know, many years ago, say like decades ago, anyway, even 10 years ago, the amount of data that we were creating, it's, it's, we certainly were creating a lot of data 10 years ago, but it's, it seems to be growing exponentially, right? You know, you talk about these data lakes and you look at how much data businesses are generating every single day to try and make sense of the data um, and, and make sure that it's the right data you're looking at. That must be a, a massive challenge for organizations um, and, and for you guys too, I imagine, because I just look at the exponential growth of data that companies are creating. It's actually quite frightening the way it's going. I mean, that's, that's essentially why we exist, is around making it easier for, for companies to make decisions based on, on their data that they have and, and, and the multiple you know, it's, it's growing exponentially every week, every day. So, so that's why we exist. Now, if you look at the different industries, guys, um, and, and you know, you touched on some, a company a, a, a second ago, Peter. I mean, which industries or businesses will benefit the most from Canvas intelligence? Now, we, we, I mean, we, when does a company need to start implementing the Canvas solutions? And, and I guess also I'm aiming at what size company, because just listening to you a second ago, you, it sounds to me like it's like really, really big organizations. But the more I think about it, I mean, small, medium sized businesses would also make a lot of sense to use the Canvas solutions. So becoming a a data-driven organization, it's not industry specific. Um, where you focus your efforts can differ in certain industries. Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> all companies will need to innovate and digitally transform to stay relevant. And those who do first will reap the benefits. Um, the largest one being unlocking the opportunity to become an exponential growth organization. The benefits are not only related to increased customer acquisition and market share. It's a known fact that there's a a shortage of strategic digital leadership globally and providing the latest technologies, toolkits and working environments is key to attract and retain top talent. Um, Yeah. So, I mean, you guys must have seen some interesting things. Um, You know, those, I I love talking about the the, the wow moments, you know, when, uh, you've implemented your solution, uh, you've delivered your solution, and, 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 and the results were like, wow, you know, from your customer and from yourselves, because certainly when it's done right and implemented right, the, it's exciting, you know, when you, when you can visualize and see everything, it just sheds this incredible light into your business, right? Exactly. I mean, we've got quite a few incidents where clients thought they didn't have certain data required in a specific business model and we were able to find the data or derive it quite accurately integrating alternative data from the business and you know that's something big but something we do every day you know is to it's just in, in normal kpi variances there are positives and negatives and assisting a client to reduce those negatives by 20 or 30 percent has a material impact on those efficiency variances. And most of the time, it's very quick to measure and execute on. You know, it's really quick. 
So I guess that when you look at uh, the last two years that have been quite interesting with COVID and how so many companies have had to transform and you know we often hear about this digital transformation that's taking place. I guess that uh, when you look at data and analyzing that data, uh, Canvas has a, a huge role that you've played to contribute to this digital transformation. It's one thing moving stuff to the cloud and you know digitizing everything around you, but what are you doing to transform the data in your organization? And I guess that's a, a very important role that you guys are playing in that regard. Absolutely. So, so there's a lot of Excel mayhem and middleware entrenched in complex enterprises. So we have the ability to automate and enhance the value derived from key information that's sitting in these uh, solutions in the business. The more digital transformation projects are completed, the more we give a direct line of sight into the performance of those transformed processes. Now, the, when you talk about these solutions, and I know, uh, Peter, you were talking about it a second ago, where you say that, you know, we pull the data from, from these data lakes that are out there. Are, are, are Canvas solutions real time? Is it happening in real time or is it an analysis or is it both? So, Aki, it can be real time and, and quite often we get the requirement from the client that it should be real time. Um, but, you know, once you do a bit of investigation and you understand the use case, it doesn't necessarily have to be real time. Um, but I, I, I guess to answer your question is yes, it can be real time. What kind of value uh, does that add to an organization when you go right deep like that? Because I don't think most organizations realize how many different layers they can go into. So the number one value that it gives is it disrupts the capability of the management teams. Uh, it saves the time of your senior resources having to request data or answers from multiple sources in the business. Uh, it is referred to as return on management. As management, you want to increase the quality of conversations and you want to increase the speed of decision making. All right. I mean, how does it work, guys? So I'll, I'll come to you as a client, right? I'm, uh, I've got, um, I don't know, pharmacies, a, a chain of pharmacies, for example. We do online deliveries. We do, uh, you know, in-store brick and mortar. Um, we service some medical aids, etc. How, how would uh, the implementation take place? How much of my data do you need? And I guess where I'm going is that, you know, when you've got all the privacy issues around us and uh, data protection, which is all key, how does the process work when I assign Canvas to do this intelligence that I want from my business? What kind of access do I need to give you guys? And how do you guys, what are you guys running in the background? The software, how does it all work? So, Aki, I think it's, 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 a, it's what, what you've got to understand, it, it is a consulting process. Um, we don't sell widgets. It's not a question of you arrive at Canvas and there's a tick box of, of what you want to see from your data. Obviously, we do have quite a bit of IP that we bring to the table, but there is a very large consulting process that takes place. Um, we, we mainly work in a, in a proof of value fashion where we would, uh, um, you know, have a look at some of your data and, and, and especially have a look at reports that are currently in place. There might be quite a few Excel reports that you have that you want automated so th there's a there's a very large consulting component where we need to understand what is what is your architecture look like in terms of databases systems um, you know you might have some ERPs already in place you might have some underground yes. system but then we would need to extract that data put it into a data warehouse and then report off that so, so you're putting lots of uh, small pieces of data and you're creating a picture from all of this, which is absolutely fascinating. I'm really intrigued by your business. When you look at the future and you guys have been around and you've been developing a lot of different things, what can we expect to see from Canvas Intelligence in the future? So we're very excited. We're in the process of finalizing our platform as a service offering. Uh, and this will cater for companies who want to start with a more commoditized solution with the ability to interrogate key KPIs and to unlock the insight into their company. All of this will be possible with a subscription-based analysis service. Okay. Now, um, uh, you, you've got a very interesting partnership with Microsoft, um, you know, a solution in selling and Power BI you mentioned earlier. Tell us about this partnership you have with Microsoft. Yeah, so we've been a gold analytics partner with Microsoft for some time now. 
and we are also in the process of expanding our partnership to advanced specialization in data and AI. Uh, we also a supplier to Microsoft. Uh, we've been requested to build prototypes to showcase their data and AI capabilities from certain Microsoft technologies. What an exciting future. I mean, uh, uh, the, the amount of intelligence that data sheds the light into a business and the value that it adds and unlocking value as well, the things that you, that you don't see, uh, is such an important role that Canvas Intelligence provides. Uh, looking forward to watching your progress, guys. Nice chatting to you. Thank you for your time. Archie Marinkovitz and Peter van Sael from Canvas Intelligence making sense of the data and adding value to your organization. Gents, thank you for joining me. Thank you, thank you Aki. Much.